Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about stored procedure activity in Azure Data Factory and Azure Synapse Analytics pipelines. This activity stored procedure comes under the transform data section of the Data Factory documentation. So here is the official page by Microsoft. Here we can read that the stored procedure activity is used to invoke a stored procedure in one of the following data stores in your enterprise or on an Azure virtual machine. It could be Azure SQL database, Synapse Analytics or SQL Server database. So if we have a stored procedure stored in any of these three data stores, this activity stored procedure activity in ADF and Synapse is used to invoke that stored procedure. This page has other important details related to this activity. Then the UI based creation of this activity is shown here, which we will demonstrate in this video. Here we have the property description, whether it is required or not, same like other activities, name, description, type, link service name, stored procedure name, stored procedure parameters. Okay. So for this example, we have taken the data store as Azure SQL database. Okay. In the database, we will create the stored procedure. So to create the stored procedure, here we have the script. We will first create a table called as books, which will have these columns, four columns, book ID, book title, author, genre. Book ID will be primary key and is identity column. So it will auto increment. Then we have insert command, which will insert data into this table so that we have one row inserted in the books table. Next, we'll create a procedure in the Azure SQL database, which will add new book, that is new row, with the book title, author, and genre columns, inserting into the books table these values, which are provided as parameters. Okay, so let's first go to the Azure SQL database. Here we have CK SQL DB as our SQL database. And we have already logged into the query editor. We are into the query page and here in the query, we will execute the create table command where we'll first create this books table, execute this command by clicking on run query succeeded. Next, we will insert data into this books table. Click on run. Query succeeded affected rows one. Let's try to preview the table. Here the books table has the data which we have inserted through this insert command. Next, we will create this procedure. Run. It will create the procedure. And if we click on refresh here and then click on procedures, we have this add new book procedure created, right? So here we have this and this procedure has three input parameters and returns integer. So this part we did in the Azure SQL database, which will be served as the data source or the data store for our stored procedure activity, which will create in the ADF now. So let's go to the data factory. Now we are in ADF cloud knowledge. We'll go to the author tab. We'll click on create new pipeline. It will be stored procedure activity. This stored procedure activity lies under the general tab with the name as stored procedure. We'll take that in the canvas next. In the stored procedure activity, the first section is the general section where the name, description and other details we can give. Leave it as default. Go to the settings tab. This is important. Link service. It is the reference to the Azure SQL database or Synapse Analytics or SQL Server registered as a link service. So for this Azure SQL database, we already have a link service created in ADF. So we'll try to connect to that link service. If we click on this drop down, we could see two link services are present. 
for the CK SQL DB, we have this link service. If it is not created, you can create a new connection for the link service. Okay, once this is selected, here we could see in the drop down the stored procedures. Okay, the list of stored procedures which are present in this SQL database. So, only here we have only one stored procedure, that's why it is appearing as one stored procedure. Whichever stored procedure we want to configure in this stored procedure activity, we'll select it from the drop down. So, we'll select this add new book which we have recently created in this database and then comes the next setting which is stored procedure parameters specify values for the parameters here we have the option to import as well as plus new we will click on import so that from this stored procedure it will fetch the parameters let's click on import after clicking on import we got these three parameters which we had defined in the stored procedure title author genre okay new book author new book genre new book title the parameters name type and value will appear here in the stored procedure activity we can give the value of the parameter so let's say here we are giving the value for the author let's give it as dummy author book genre it will be dummy genre dummy genre then comes book title dummy title okay now this looks fine for all these three input parameters we will now click on validate to validate this activity stored procedure activity click on debug So the stored procedure activity succeeded. In the input, we have given the parameters, input parameters values. Using these input parameters, this stored procedure is executed. Now we'll go back to the Azure SQL database and click on plus new, new query, selects star from books table, click on run and we could see a new row is generated with the values we gave in the stored procedure activity. Dummy title, dummy author, dummy genre. And book ID is incremented by one because it's an identity column. Okay. So this is how we can use stored procedure activity to invoke stored procedure present in one of the three data stores which are supported in the SP activity. Hope you have understood the basic implementation of stored procedure activity in ADF. Thank you for watching the video. Let me know in comments if you have any queries. Happy learning. Bye.